What's up guys, this tutorial will be on pointers and strings. For this tutorial you need to know the basics of pointers and that of strings. So if you don't know the basics, please do see my previous tutorial on pointers and on strings or it would be difficult for you to understand this one. Okay, in the last tutorial we had uh, seen, to ac seen how to access the elements of an integer array using pointers. The same could be done for a for a character array. Suppose I had a char array C, and it contained this uh, characters or I would say a string hello H E L L O. And suppose I had a pointer character pointer so char star P T R, and it pointed to my char array C. Okay. Now to access the character H, I would say star PTR. Okay, so what it would do? Access char H. I'll write in single quotes. Okay. Now suppose I want to access the first L of hello, so I would increment uh, my pointer by two. Uh, since it's pointing to H, I must increment by 2, 1, 2, okay. So I'll have PTR is equal to PTR plus 2, okay. Now again, if I do star PTR, what would this do? Access my character L, okay. So I'll write this access car L. Okay, yeah, so this way you can access the elements of a character array using your char pointer. Uh, there are two functions that involve string operation uh, that also include pointers. Uh, the first one is str, okay, I'll write here the first one is str chr, and in bracket you have a string s and then you have a character suppose ch okay so what this function does it returns a pointer to the first occurrence of ch okay so suppose if i had something like this str chr in in place of s suppose i had my character i c and instead of ch i had h or suppose i had l so it would return me a pointer that would point to l oh. this function is there in your in the class string dot h str ch uh, there's another function str str and s1 comma h2 comma h2 so what it does it again returns a pointer okay so i'll just copy this out returns a pointer to the first occurrence of uh, h2 okay it returns a pointer to the first occurrence of h2 okay okay yeah both both these functions check the occurrence in your string s as in this first parameter so i'll write in string s and here i would have in string s1 okay yeah suppose uh, here i had string s1 is suppose h e l l o hello and s2 is just l o l and o so it would return me a pointer to the first occurrence of l o so it would return me here okay this part it would return me a pointer here the remaining function had the remaining functions in the header file a uh, string dot h i had discussed in my tutorial on uh, strings so if you need to know about all the, all the functions in string dot h please uh, refer to that tutorial uh, also yeah one more thing i forgot to tell you uh, uh see here using my pointer p uh, ptr i can print the entire string that is hello i just need to write printf then i'll have here percentage s that is for string and then i'll have my pointer ptr 
okay so firstly my pointer points to h so it would print all the characters which are followed uh, by h or as in that comes after after h suppose my pointer was pointing to l so it would print a l and all the characters after this l okay uh and yeah one more thing i can also write the same thing in this way i'll have char star p is equal to directly i can write h e l l o that is hello but there is a certain uh, difference between this this type of declaration and this uh, this entire type of declaration i would tell you this in my next tutorial so let's try this out in our uh, program i'll create a new file okay what we are doing here trying functions str str and str chr okay i'll quickly write my basic structure hash include hdio.h int main and it will return me a zero okay yeah since we are performing string operations so also i need to include string dot h header file so i'll write include string dot h okay uh i'll have uh, my first string suppose char s1 and suppose it's a string hey how are you okay and suppose i have my second string as char s2 and it's how are you okay a semicolon here and a semicolon here and suppose i have a character c and it contains just the character suppose r okay so what i'll do i'll first find the occurrence of this character r in my string s1 so for that i have a function str chr and it, it will take as a parameter s1 comma c uh, this function returns me a pointer uh, so i'll have char star ptr is equal to okay okay now since we want to find the first occurrence of this character c that is r in my string hey how are you so it must return a pointer pointing to this r so what we will do we will print the string starting from here as in this part of the string okay since it since it's returning a pointer pointing to r so i'll just write a printf statement printf a percentage s for string and my pointer is ptr okay so let's execute a file and see okay yeah it's giving me r u since i had a pointer at this point the rest of the string is been thrown in the output okay so now let's try out another fu or another function str str so i'll write str str and s1 comma s2 so what this function would do it it, it would return me the occurrence or the first occurrence of s2 in s1 so h2 is how are you so it must point to this h here okay it's returning me a pointer so i'll have char star p is equal to this part okay so now let's just print the string as in using a pointer so yeah here i'll i'll have a percentage s and comma my pointer p 
uh, you might have guessed that this would print the string h2 since I'll have a pointer at h so the entire string after h would be printed so I'll just compile and run yeah it's giving me how are you this are you is my first string I'll remove this printf statement yeah so yeah how are you we are getting it yeah that's it on this tutorial uh see you in the next one please do subscribe to our channel like our video and do provide your suggestions for our improvement thank you